Well, hello there. We're going to be talking about the sixth grade ancient civilizations performance task. I'm going to go into a slideshow mode here. Um, this is a sixth grade performance task for social studies for the last unit of the year, ancient civilizations. All three schools, Elm and Fairgrounds and uh, Penichuk, will be doing this performance task, and your score will go to the city of Nashua. So, Let's do our best and let's get into it. First of all, your ancient civilization's performance task. For this task, you are going to assume the role of an archeologist. You're gonna research one of the following ancient civilizations, either ancient Egypt, ancient China, or the Indus Valley, ancient India. You must prove that the civilization meets the six key elements of a civilization. You're gonna use your research and cite your evidence to prove your case on your chosen civilization. So again, you have three choices. You can choose ancient Egypt, you can choose ancient India, you can choose ancient China. You're only doing one. There are two parts to your performance task. Part one is understanding grapes and part two is your research and your Google presentation. So for part one, you're gonna show mastery, meaning that you understand all of the skills involved with each component of the acronym GRAPES. It means you know what the G is, the R, the A, the P, the E, the S, what each of them mean, and you're able to fit examples into each category to um, when we're talking about what is a civilization. Part two is what we're talking about in this presentation. You're gonna pick one ancient civilization and you are going to demonstrate that that civilization meets the criteria of what a civilization is using grapes, G-R-A-P-E-S. And you're gonna be creating a Google Slides presentation. Now, to remind you what grapes is, this slide will talk about what grapes is. You should already know because we've done it in class and had a lot of practice. So you're going to use this, um, this acronym to find all of your information, organize all of your information and present all of your information. We're gonna be using reliable sources only. For this project, you're only going to use the ancient study guides. There's one for ancient China, there's one for ancient India, and there's one for ancient Egypt. You are choosing one. You're gonna first read that and take notes on a gra uh, grapes graphic organizer. You're also gonna use your textbook that the city of Nashua provides to you for a resource. You can also use books in class if you're provided books by your teacher. You may or may not. We are not going to be randomly searching Google. No, like really, we're not gonna be randomly searching Google. All of your information must come from a reliable vetted source and those this time are going to be from books written sources. Okay, your Google Slides, what are your Google Slides gonna consist of? They're gonna consist of eight different slides, a title slide, a slide for the G for geography, a slide for R for religion, a, a slide for A for achievements, P for politics, E for economics, S for social life, and your resources that you used. There will be an optional dedication page to show some sass and personality. You know that I love that. Now, what is your ancient civilization going to look like? Now, your copy is gonna look like this when you open it up. It's gonna be blank. There's gonna be directions on your slide. Every slide's gonna have directions to tell you what to do and what to look for in your research. You're gonna add that to your slide and then you're gonna delete this text box for the directions. So for instance, this is the first page. It says add a title, add a civilization. Um, uh, sorry, add a sassy title. I, I'm getting all messed up on this page. Add a title of your civilization. Choose a font for your um, title. Choose your full name and a, t and a font for your name, a background or a color, and do an image. Um, then you're gonna delete the text boxes. Now. Let's just double check in here. So we'll go in and do a couple of things that you'll need to know how to do. First thing is when you go in, anytime where it says click to add, you're just gonna add that. So I'm just gonna put um, ancient Walshopotamia. Sounds good. Okay, and I'm gonna put by Ms. Walsh. Now, if I'm gonna add a background, I'm gonna go up here to add, insert, no I'm not, yes I am. 
insert, if I want to add an image, I can do in search, search the web. I can search for something here and I can add it in. If I want to do a background, then I'm going to go here to where it says background. I can either choose an image or doing a Google search. I can choose an image from my folder. I can choose an image from the search and I'm going to add a background. So I'm going to put fancy gold background just because all right, we're going to use this glittery one. Okay. So now I have a title. I have a background. I can also change my font by clicking in my font. So I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I could change the color by going to the text color. I'll go with purple. Okay. See where I'm going? I'm not doing a fantastic job on this, but I'm just showing you some basics. When I'm done with everything on this directions, I'm going to delete this. I click on it once. I press delete and it's going to delete. I'm going to undo because this is actually the project you're going to be working on. Next, I've got the geography page. You're going to see where I can add text. I am going to add geography of what? That's the name of my ancient civilization. So Walsh Opotamia. Um, you're going to add your civilization. Um, you can add all your information here with texts. You're going to look at where is your civilization located? What rivers was important to the civilization? What was the climate like in your civilization? Your natural resources, a map of your civilization, a background color or image, and delete these directions. Everything is right here for you. So as you add the information for each of these things and type it out, I left you spaces for pictures. I left you a white background so that you can add a background. Follow the directions. This is your presentation. You're presenting the information. The way that it looks is up to you. Just think that we want to be doing seventh grade level um, presentations now because we're almost in seventh grade. And if I go to religion, the same thing goes with religion. I have a place for my text. I have a place for my pictures. It gives me all of my directions. What was the religious practice in your ancient civilization? What was the, um, was the religion monotheistic or polytheistic? insert some symbols, add a background, delete these directions. Everything is here for you. Make sure you add religion of what? Add your civilization there. Achievements, there's six boxes for achievements of your civilization. Again, the directions give the, the directions are all there for you. So if you follow those directions, you'll get everything you need on these pages. You can insert, don't forget, inserting an image, you do insert, image search the web you can then search for images and then there'll be a button that says insert boom you can move it around and put it in the right spot um, next would be um, politics same thing goes with politics there's a place to add your information a place to add your title a place to add pictures your directions you're finding all of these things deleting the directions economics same thing economics title information what you're looking for pictures you can add a background and my picture's in the way to get the next one. All right, let's go to my sample. I did a sample for you. So I did ancient Walsh Potamia. Let's take a look at it. Ancient Walsh Potamia. This is my title slide. You can see I have a background. I have chosen a font. I've chosen a font color. In this case, I chose white because it really popped out on the background. I chose a picture and I said who it's by. It is by Ms. Walsh. I've got my name there. My geography slide, remember we're doing one for each of the GRAPES acronym, G-R-A-P-E-S. This is the G. On my project, it tells you specific things to look for. I can see that I have a title. I can see where my civilization is located. I have a map of where my civilization was located, what river was important, and what the climate was in my civilization. So I hit all of my geography marks. Don't forget to look at each of one of those things on your project and get each one of them there. Now let's take a look at the R, religion of Walsh Potamia. I was asked to um, name the religion, so my Walsh Potamia religion was Walsh Tint. And it was a monotheist theistic religion that believed in one God, the Walsh God. And ancient Walsh Potamians built temples to honor their gods. Temples of tacos, as you can see in my picture. Here are some symbols that represent the religion in my made up civilization. Of course, yours is not going to be made up. Yours is going to be Egypt, India, or China. All right, next is achievements. Here are some achievements from my ancient civilization, Walsh Potamia. Pretty cursive. Self-digging shovel, sunshine vitamins, 
That was just some sunshine for you if you needed some sunshine today. A solar calculator, a taco stepped pyramid, the drive through trash can, once one of the best inventions of all time, by the way, in real life, a chocolate fountain, dog sweaters, who doesn't love dog sweaters, and banana bread. Those are the achievements of my ancient civilization. You're going to research yours and come up with the real ones. No pretend ones. How about politics? Politics, government is laws and leaders. So King Walsharabi was the main ruler of Walshapatamia. Walshapatamia had very strict laws. There was no complaining allowed. Being mean was forbidden and being lazy, verboten, not allowed. The type of government was a monarchy slash dict dictatorship, just like my real life. My classroom is a monarchy dictatorship, as it should be. And the king made all of the rules. Of course, the king is me. King Walsharabi. Let's go to economics. Economics of Walshapatamia. Uh, the money used was the uh, waller. It's kind of like the dollar, but with Walsh. You get it? The waller was used. Before there were wallers, people used to trade or barter. And some natural resources in ancient Walshapatamia were wheat, grapes, livestock, diamonds, salsa, cheese, and aluminum. Of course, you're going to look up the real ones for your civilization. Those are made up for mine. And social life. There's a lot to go in social life, so make sure you watch your slide directions. People in the civilization had different levels of power. At the top of the pyramid were the very wealthy. The bottom were those people that had no education or wealth. In the middle were farmers, craftspeople, and taco makers. The types of food eaten were sauerkraut and potato pancakes, red cabbage, tacos, burritos, enchiladas, mint chocolate chip ice cream. Clothing, flip-flops, capri pants, stretchy, ironless tops were the fashion of the day. Walsh Potomiums were very artistic and they loved Impressionism. They listened to Lionel Richie, George Michael, Yacht Rock, and 80s rap. That is non-negotiable in my society. You're going to look up the real ones for your society, but those are for Walsh Potomia. Now, I'm going to put the resources I used in my slides. Now, you're going to probably be asked to do it in a works cited format that we'll go over in English class, but basically you're going to use the resources that you used for your research are going to go here and a dedication page. I did not make a dedication page because I don't want, I don't want to influence your dedication page. I want your dedication page to speak for itself. Find someone to dedicate it to, something to dedicate it to, insert a creative dedication. You can add a creative background, creative pictures. You can add creative fonts. I just want to see what, I want to see what it looks like. Dedicated, dedication page is optional. It's only if you finish your project and you have extra time to do the extra things on your project. So that's about it for our project. Again, it's the performance task for sixth grade. So these scores will be going to Nashua. They'll be comparing them all three schools to middle schools to make sure that you understand grapes and understand what is a civilization and that you can prove that your chosen civilization belongs to grapes. Okay, two parts, you're choosing ancient Egypt, India or China, you're going to do the parts in the Google Slides using the acronyms GRAPES, using only the resources your teachers ask you to use, and you have a sample that you can also look at. Yours, of course, is going to start off blank, which is no longer blank because I messed that up. So see, like I'll make it back. Oh, man. All right. Good luck on your project. See, that's what yours will look like. Okay, good luck on your project. If you have any questions, then you should have watched this video first. Rewatch it. Don't ask questions if you didn't watch the video. If you made it to this point and you're a Lightning Team kid, add $30 to your checkbook because you secretly made it to the end of the video and you deserve the $30 in your checkbook. Don't tell anyone though because the slackers that didn't watch this video aren't allowed to get the $30. I think that's fair. And again, it's a dictatorship monarchy, so I make the decisions. All right, good luck on your project. See you in class.